Hi there, welcome to Break Recording Studios. I'm Ulf. Today we're gonna gate a snare with the compressor. Yeah, so I've been seeing this technique floating around on the internet quite a bit, uh, where you basically double your snare drum track, switch the polarity on one so they cancel out, and then you put a compressor on one of them. The initial hit will not be cancelled out, and then the parts between are gated, so you can get rid of hi-hat and stuff like that. Then you also put a high-pass filter on the compressed channel, uh, and that will give you some of the natural uh, feel of the snare back, so you get the tone and everything, but uh, the top end and the hit is only a short burst. So as I said, I've seen this technique floating around quite a bit um, in different Facebook groups and stuff like that. And I saw Jeremy at Recording Studio Loser uh, demonstrate it in Pro Tools, and that's where I got the idea to try it in analog. If you haven't seen uh, Jeremy's YouTube channel, uh, you should really check it out. Uh, there's a link in the description, so go check out Recording Studio Loser. Uh, it has some really cool stuff. I've been thinking when I record on uh, analog tape, the problem with that I have is that I don't have as much control over the signals as I have when I work in, the, in Cubase or in Pro Tools. Um, but I thought this technique must be possible to replicate also in the analog domain. So we're gonna try that today. Uh, so first we can listen to the little drum track we have. And then if you go in and solo the snare, you're gonna hear what you always have with the snare. You have a lot of bleed from cymbals and hi-hat. So, what I've done is that I'm doubling this channel uh, to this snare double. Uh, which I did through taking the insert send here and going line in on channel 10. Since I can't uh, switch the polarity on the line signal on this uh, console, I made this little custom made cable that switches the polarity. So it's the other way around from the original snare track. And we have it back on 10. Then we send from 10 and channel 2 with equal mix to channel 11 so they are combined on channel 11 and I set them to where they have as closely to full cancellation as possible. Yeah so I have it here back on 11 on snare combination uh, so we're gonna take this down and only listen to, to this one. Yeah, so as you can hear, we still have some signals since uh, an analog console is not 100% li linear as, uh, it, it's, as it would be if you did this in your DAW. So this is the full snare signal. And this is the combined uh, with the double. So it doesn't sound very good. Uh, but the next thing we can do then, we have this distressor uh, compressor. And I have it now in bypass. Uh, we have really, really fast attack and really fast release and also on high ratio. So what will happen when we engage this? We have a really ugly gated version of the snare. Next thing we do to bring back some life in that snare is that we're gonna do some high pass filtering on the snare double. So this high pass filter has sort of a resonance curve, so you can hear that, so we're gonna place it where it sounds the best. I think we have some extra 200 hertz or something there, but that doesn't hurt. So 
So now if we compare those. sounds a bit too splashy so we're gonna play around with the release time maybe if we make it a bit longer it's gonna sound less uh, spiffy something like that and also if we Take in the snare bottom. We're gonna mask it up. There you can hear it when we switch between the, the gated combined snare. Get soft and nice, crashes. And when we go back to the original snare, we have those harsh upper frequencies. So it works really good also on analog tape. And the good thing with this is that now, since you don't have all that harsh high frequencies in it, you can also compress it and put a lot more EQ on it than you could uh, on an untreated snare. You see that I can process it really hard without it even getting a tiniest bit harsh. And have it really loud. Yeah, so that's it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already and share the video with friends. I also want to take the time and say that I recently started my Patreon account uh, where you can support me with a bit of money if you want to. What you will get in return is uh, like drum samples, uh, impulse responses and stuff like that every month. Uh, depending on, on the tier you choose, uh, you will also get uh, free multitracks uh, and a video of me going through how I mix that song so you can follow along and mix it for yourself. I will also do a live stream every month uh, for the highest tier uh, where the people there can ask questions about the mixing and I will also listen to your mixes and give you feedback. So please have a look at uh, patreon.com slash hoborek, uh, see if there's something there for you. and. Uh, if you want to support me, I would be greatly thankful.
So see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Cheers.